Welcome back, everyone. It's time for some Sunday science. And joining us today is Mike Randall from the Wonders of Physics. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about what's going on today. Well, um, I wanted to do something for Father's Day. <laughs> but uh, we were looking at different experiments. And it's like the only thing we could come up with that would be appropriate for Father's Day was something on inertia, which so I thought maybe some people would be offended by that. So we're doing <laughs> optics today instead. Um, anyways, we all know light likes to travel in a straight line, right? Sure. Mm, depends. So if that's true, then why do we have that happen? I don't know. So you can see the light is definitely bending as it goes through there. This true. Is, has to do with something called uh, refraction. And it has to do with the speed of light. Uh, we learned in school that speed of light is like 186,000 miles per second. It's the ultimate speed limit. Very uh, slow. <laughs> what? what kind of car do you drive? <laughs> um, 300,000 kilometers per second if you like metric. But that's only true out in outer space or in a vacuum. In other materials, it slows way, way down. And that helps explain this. Um, and it also, it's like, and I know you're asking, you're, you're thinking to yourself, what does this have to do with the UW marching band? Okay. Okay, well, Tell me. I'll explain to you. The way that the light bends when it goes through a material that has a, uh, a slower speed of light is the same way that the marching band would turn as it's on a football field. So if you ever see a marching band moving at an angle like toward the 50 yard line. Okay. The, the way it works is, is that the band will come in, the members that hit the line first slow down while the rest of the members keep on going at the same speed. So eventually the whole line will turn. Okay. Until they're all going the same direction. So that's the same thing that happens with light. The light wave that comes in, the, the part that hits first slows down first, the rest of it speeds up. So it, you end up with this bend. It all happens though, right at that surface. All right. Okay, now we take advantage of this all over the place. Um, particularly in lenses. So I have more laser beams. Oh, look, look at, at all this. So if you have a surface that's curved, you can make each part of that light ray go in a different, bend in a different direction so you can actually get it to focus like with this. Got it. So this is called a convex lens. If you want the light to spread out, you could go with a concave lens. So it depends if you're nearsighted or farsighted, I suppose. And those are exactly what are in our glasses or contact and, and, lenses. And anything that uses optics, which is all over the place. True. Even in something called fiber optics. Now this might be a little trickier to see here, but if you can see this, the light actually goes in here, but it starts bouncing back and forth. There's a certain angle that one is called the critical angle. If you have the light come in at a shallow enough angle, instead of coming through, it just stays inside. Okay. It acts like a perfect mirror, so it just bounces back and forth. This is what happens in fiber optic cables. This is how I get television to my house, is through fiber optic cables. And that's cables. important. Yeah, because <laughs> the fiber optic cable doesn't have to be straight like that. You can bend them and twist them and make the light go any way you want. So you can actually have light go through a cable like electricity would go through a wire. And real and quick, what about this one? I just use this to... Uh, <laughs> block things. Oh, so that's not it's really... Sh it's th shiny. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> so you, you can, can see this is what looks like when light hits a mirror. <laughs> and that just looks really cool. But anyway, so this is a, a quick demonstration of how the optics works, how optics work and how light travels through different mediums. Awesome, Mike. Thank you so much. It's always uh, it's a pleasure having mm -hmm. you and we always learn a lot with him here.